welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Juan Scribe, and here I'm an artist, you're an artist, we are all artists. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be using this jigsaw puzzle template to paint Billy the Puppet from the Saw franchise. So I do invite you to paint with me today, as always. I'm starting off with the color black, and this is a number 12 flat brush that I'm using to basically outline the top of his head, the puppet. So this puppet appeared in the Saw franchise, and of course it was used by John Kramer, the main antagonist, to communicate with the poor souls who were being tortured or ripped apart in different ways. And that first film that launched the franchise came out in 2004, directed by James Wan. And it came out at a time, I remember, when it triggered off uh, not only the franchise, but other, other uh, horror, you know, torture movies such as Hostel. And now, of course, there's been nine films in the Saw franchise. So now I'm going to move on to a number four flat, which is smaller, so I can start off with the eyes. So now I'm pressing firmly so that my brush strokes will come out bold and crisp. Now I'm gonna use some white paint. And I'm gonna use the white paint to mix it with a little bit of black so that it will make a gray. So that I can begin to apply some shadow with the same small number four brush. Begin to apply some shadow so that this, this face, right, of this puppet will have some definition and you'll be able to see the features start to show. Now, the Jigsaw Killer, or AKA John Kramer, he created the puppet. He was played brilliantly by Tobin Bell. So the technique I'm using here is uh, basically not using too much paint, using only a little bit, and then spreading that as far as I can go, like until it basically runs out on the brush. So what I did here was make a lighter shade of gray so that I can apply shadow that is lighter around different parts of his face and also his neck. Now you know you can pause at any time if you miss a step, right? You could also pause so that you can like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please share this video with all your friends. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a dry brush and use that brush to blur some of these uh, marks so to re reconcile them and make them a little bit blurrier, a little bit you know, uh, more natural, not as uh, pronounced. Before I take some white, once again with my number four brush, some white to then add some highlights to the different parts of the face.
Here I use some of that white to soften some of the darker, some of the darker marks to make them a little bit more, a little bit softer on the eyes, a little bit um, less harsh. Now onto some nice red so that we can paint the eyes using the small brush once again. So mine is a number four. We gotta try to stay within the lines now. And that, that red will be a nice contrast to the rest of the painting, which so far is like a black and white with some gray. So as you can see here, I'm painting the background also. Now this, I'm using the number 12 brush so that it can paint larger brush strokes and it won't take as long. And now on to his distinguished gentlemanly bow tie, also red. So while I give Billy here his smile, I wanted to ask, what is your favorite entry in the Saw franchise? And did you happen to see Spiral, the latest um, spin-off of the franchise? So what do you think? Please write in the comments. Let me know everything. Uh, or make any other comments regarding to, to anything pertaining to you know our paintings, our channel. And even though our channel has just gotten started recently, we already have tons of tutorials and time lapses. Everything from superhero to horror, 80s horror, 70s horror, The Thing, The Blob, The Fly, everything in between. Hellraiser, check us out. To 70s and 80s horror, to 90s, everything. Here I'm adding the pupil using black and a number four brush. And I'm also going to make his mouth more pronounced. He has that nutcracker mouth, so we're pronouncing that using, using some black paint. And I'm also making a dark red now to use it to outline the rest of his mouth. Here I'm making a dark gray again so that I can apply more shadows, dark shadows to some of these areas on his face. Again, a lot of repetition, a lot of steps that we do over again, only so that it could come out really well because we're doing it in layers. The more layers, the better sometimes. And now let's add some white glare with a small brush to the eye and to a lesser extent, the other eye. So we wipe off most of that white paint and add it. These are the steps that really start to make the painting come to life, to pop out. I'm also gonna add glare to the bow tie and then in a minute you'll see also the hair, but I'm gonna soften those glares later as you'll see. I'm gonna make a very dark gray, almost black, so that we can add some glare hitting the suit also, so that there'll be definition in the suit as well. I'm gonna take some of that same dark gray, very dark, to soften the white glare on his hair. So I apply it to the edges of that, of both sides of that glare. And finally, just a little bit of light also hitting the mouth. Then of course, you can touch it up any way you like, darken anything, add double coat to anything, a second 
um, layer of paint to any of the colors. I, I know I did. And here I'm taking it apart so that I can then put it back together and then gloss it over with some varnish, which will protect it and also make it shiny and cool. So please share how your painting came out. Either way, thanks so much for watching and check out etherealartsstudio.com. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and comment and subscribe.